On Thursday, the men complete their quarterfinals, while the women play the semifinals. Kevin Anderson, photo by Chrysline Kayo, copyright at Sport Vision. The first women's semifinal features two young players who have never advanced this far at a premier mandatory event, 22-year-old Ash Barty and 23-year-old Inet Contivate. The first men's quarterfinal of the day similarly highlights the ATP's youth movement, with 19-year-old Dennis Shapovalov and 21-year-old Francis Tifo. The second women's semifinal sees a former world number one just one match win away from reclaiming that ranking, against a former major finalist looking for her first premier mandatory final. And in the last men's quarterfinal, it's two players in their 30s. 32-year-old Kevin Anderson is vying for the biggest title of his career, and 37-year-old Roger Federer is going for career title number 101. Roger Federer, 4, versus Kevin Anderson, 6, embed from Getty Images Federer is 5-2-1 against Anderson, but that one loss was a big one. Federer was up two sets and had a match point last year in the Wimbledon quarterfinals, yet Anderson climbed his way back to win 13-11 in the fifth. That's actually the only match in which Kevin has taken a set from Roger. Federer would avenge that loss later in the year, and in the same city, with a straight set win at the ATP Finals. Roger didn't play his best tennis at the start of this tournament, but he's improved with every round, and looked very sharp yesterday against Benil Medvedev. Anderson has been suffering from a right elbow injury, and had to pull out of both the New York Open and Indian Wells. It's impressive that he's advanced to this quarterfinal having not played since the Australian Open, though he's yet to play a seeded player. This matchup leans heavily toward Federer's favor, and he's the more informed player. Roger will be motivated to not allow Kevin to get another win over him. As Ben Rothenberg quoted Federer on Twitter, if you beat me at Wimbledon, you've got my attention. Simona Halep, 2, versus Karolina Pliskova, 5, embed from Getty Images. These two just played an extremely competitive Fed Cup match just last month, with Halep prevailing 6-4 in the third. Halep holds a 7-2 record over Pliskova, with most of her victories coming in straight sets. The only times Carolina has gotten the better of Simona are last year on clay in Madrid, and in a 2016 Fed Cup match. Other than a scare in her third round match here against Polona Hercog, Halep has advanced comfortably to this semi-final. Pliskova's path was a bit more complicated, as she twice had to go deep into a third set to survive. Carolina has been the healthier and more successful player this year. She is 20-4 in 2019, with a title win in Brisbane, a semi-final run in Melbourne, and quarter-final run two weeks ago in Indian Wells. Pliskova's tennis has been much improved over the past six months with the joint coaching team of Renee Stubbs and Conchita Martinez. Halep had about half as many wins as Pliskova in the year coming into this tournament, though she's playing her best tennis of the season with her own coaching situation now settled. This matchup is to Halep's advantage, as she makes it difficult for Pliskova to hit through her. But will she feel the pressure of regaining the number one ranking with a win today? We saw her lose several such matches which would have earned her that ranking in 2017. This could easily become a prolonged contest, and if so, I wonder how Halep's knee will hold it, as it's been taped all week. In a month where we've seen a lot of upsets on the American hard courts, I'm going with Pliskova to advance to Saturday's final. She's the player with more confidence and momentum. Other notable matches on day 11 embed from Getty Images Dennis Shapovalov 20 versus Francis Tifo 28. They've split two previous matches, both last year on American hard courts Ash Barty 12 versus Annette Contivate 21. Their first meeting will be one of the most important matches in both of their young careers. World number 9 John Isner has returned to the semi-final at the Miami Open for the second consecutive year after beating Roberto Bautista Gut 7-6, 7-1, 7-6, 7-5 after 1 hour and 45 minutes at the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. 
John Isner will continue his title defense one year after winning the Miami final against Alexander Zarev. He has reached the third semifinal of his career after 2015 and 2018 and his 12th semifinal at Masters 1000 level. He will take on either Canadian 18-year-old player Felix Auger-Aliassim or Borna Chorich. He has won 10 consecutive matches in Miami and has a 10-2-1 win-loss record in tiebreaks. The player from Greensboro hit 24 aces and faced one break point in the last service game of the match. Bautista Gut fended off a total of three break points. Isner did not convert his only break point chance in the first set when Bautista Gut hit a forehand passing shot that Isner netted. Isner got three mini breaks to race out to a 6-1 lead in the tie break when Bautista Gut made a double fault. The US player sealed the first set with his 13th ace. Nothing could separate in the first eight games before Bautista got fended off two break points at 4-4 in the second set. The Spaniard earned his first break point on the set point at 5-6-3-0-4-0, who Isner saved it with an ace. Bautista Gut, who stunned Novak Djokovic in yesterday's fourth round, got two mini breaks to open up a 3-0 lead, but Isner bounced back from a double mini break deficit for the second time at this tournament. The U.S. Giants sealed the tiebreak 7-5 when Bautista Gut netted a forehand. Isner has not dropped a set yet at this tournament beating Lorenzo Sonego, Albert Ramos, Vinolas, Kyle Edmund and Roberto Bautista Gut. He won seven of his eight sets in tiebreaks. Roger Federer is into the quarterfinals after a stunning to display against Benil Medvedev. Roger Federer, at ADP underscore tour, Twitter, Roger Federer produced a 60-minute masterclass to beat Daniil Medvedev 6-4, 6-2 to reach the Miami Open quarterfinals. The fourth seed was in fine form as he produced a wonderful performance in his delayed fourth-round match against Medvedev. A number of unforced errors saw the Russian crumble under pressure as the match was being played at a rapid speed. In the quarterfinals, Federer will now play Kevin Anderson in a rematch from their Wimbledon quarterfinal last year. Blink and you'll miss seemed to be the key theme of this contest as both men were holding serves with relative ease as Medvedev produced a unique challenge today. There were some punishing rallies that took place which Medvedev was looking to take advantage of although the Swiss looked to moments of brilliance to escape the punishment. That is spectacular. Outrageous hands from it. Roger Federer clapping hands. Eventually though Medvedev couldn't take the heat and Federer struck like the champion he is, converting his first break to serve for the set. Then a deciding factor in who would win the match, the world number 15 had three break points to level the set and test Federer further. But it was all a bit too conservative from the defensive Russian, who couldn't convert. The experience from Federer was telling as he converted his first set point. Clinical finishing from a deadly champion proved decisive. After that Medvedev lost a lot of his confidence as he was starting to miss some very simplistic shots. A break at the start of the second set was a key factor. A lightning-fast performance from Federer, who produced a lesson in how to be clinical and smart and after breaking for a second time served out the 60-minute display. A smart match from Federer means he has plenty of rest ahead of his quarterfinal against Kevin Anderson as he sets his sights on title number 101. Defending champion John Isner battled past Kyle Edmund 7-6, 7-5, 7-6, 7-3 7-3 after 1 hour and 40 minutes to reach the quarterfinal at the Miami Open for the third time in his career. Isner hit 17 aces and faced just one break point to reach the quarterfinals for the fourth time this season. U.S. player earned the first break at Love in the sixth game to open up a 4-2 lead, as Edmund made a double fault. Edmund pulled the break back at Love, when Isner was serving for the first set at 5-3, sending the first set to the tie break. Edmund took a 5-2 lead in the tie break. Isner came back by winning the next 5 points to win the tie break 7-5.
Isner won the next two points before Edmund made a double fault and netted a forehand on the 11th point. Isner fired an ace to win his fifth consecutive point after 51 point. Both players went on serve in the second set with no break points setting up a second tie break. Isner earned the first mini break on the eighth point with a deep return and hit an ace to secure his spot in the quarterfinal, where he will will face either Novak Djokovic or Roberto Bautista Gut. U.S. player has won five of his six sets in tie breaks at this edition of the Miami Open. The player from Greensboro won the biggest title of his career last year in Miami beating Alexander Zarev in the final. Isner is bidding to win at least one title for the ninth time in the past 10 years. Kyle is constantly improving. It's not that he is up and coming anymore. He is already here, said Isner during the on-court interview after the match.